slopes. I, I mean, that's a brilliant coined phrase, like Silicon right. Slopes. Um, I don't think I heard that until, I don't know, until probably I met you. Perfect. So you have definitely amplified that. Yeah. But in terms of you taking over the setup that you have now, what was the foray into that and then leaving Beehive Startups is still a thing. No, this, yeah, be, well, Beehive Startups is still a thing, but it's not, okay. right? Because we're only focused on Silicon Slopes, okay. right? And that's the brand, that's the moniker. Beehive Startups is still owned by this entity, this new 501c3 nonprofit. But we're not really ever going to do anything with it again, at least, you know, for the foreseeable future, because Silicon Slopes, uh, you know, it's, it's taking all of our time, attention, and, and because of it, the way it's taken off, right? Yeah, and it really is taking so much time because of all the things that you do. There's yeah. so much storytelling. So I know that there's podcasts that you do on a very regular basis. There's meetups, there's meetings, there's entrepreneur, like there's panels, yeah. there's events, there's a conference. You have a yearly conference, the yeah. Tech Summit. Um was all this part of the plan when you, Clint, kind of took the reins from Josh James? You were like, okay, Silicon Slopes is officially this thing. It's my baby, and we're going to do all these things. Or was it just one one thing at a time? Well, I learned at BI Startups, like, some fundamental principles of community that I thought were important, Right. And this is when Josh and I were talking, like all we'd talk about was like these fundamental principles that I'd learned and he'd be like, ah, I don't know, we'd do whatever you want. Right. And so I don't know that he cared about them as much as I did. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, like using those principles for sure. Now, did I think we'd be doing over 200 events a year, um, have a magazine, you know, have like this biweekly podcast and, and have, you know, all these different media assets and things. I didn't think it would happen like as quickly as it's happened, right? And kind of at the scale, and I certainly didn't think the megaphone would be as big as it currently is this quickly. But yeah, I think because here's the thing, like community should always be about a cause and the people within it and not a single person and not a single company, right? Mm -hmm. And once you like start with that, like community is about a cause, not about a person, yeah. right? And then, so what is our cause? Knowing that is like a fundamental thing. Well, Silicon Slopes, our cause is like to empower Utah's tech community to learn, connect, and serve, right? So what does learn mean? We're primarily a media company. We're publishing stories every day on siliconslopes.com. We have a a podcast that comes out on Tuesday, a podcast that comes out on Thursday. We have two uh, newsletters that come out weekly. We have a magazine, which is one of the largest distributed magazines in the state of Utah. We have, you know, a video series that we do. Uh, at our core, we tell stories. What's mm -hmm. happening in Utah's tech community? Because that's how we were founded. You know, that I think at at the core of any community, you got to let people know what's happening, right? Because a lot of collisions and connections will happen just out of that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this is interesting. This startup that was written about on siliconslopes.com. I'm going to go have lunch with them. I'm going to go do X, right? And that doesn't have anything to do with us. Like, we're not creating that other than, you know, the community itself will take care of that. So at our core, we're a media company in that we're telling stories, right? On the connect piece at... Our core there, we're primarily just doing events. We do over 200 events a year, ranging from small events that we'll do in our headquarters of like 75 to 100 people to like medium size events like, you know, the Startup Conversation Series, which we do, which brings in around like 500 to 1,000 or somewhere in that range to like larger events like yesterday on the day that we're uh, publishing this. Yeah, the summer uh, we did the Silicon Slope Summer Bash, which had 6,000 people for like a barbecue mm -hmm. just outside our office. And our, it can't hold 6,000 people, but which is kind of crazy. It was so fun. It was very fun. You had people just moving, which is probably how you can work with 6,000 if they're yeah. just constantly moving. Yeah. Food, music, cornhole. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> Back to food. <laughs> and our biggest and, you know, kind of the premier event that we do at Silicon Slopes is Silicon Slopes Tech Summit. Mm -hmm. which brought in over 15,000 people last year, its second year. We expect about 20,000 this next one. And that's kind of our signature event and probably what, you know, we'll eventually be known for. 
as an organization nationally and globally will be Silicon Slopes Tech Summit. But so at our courts on the Connect side were events, and then on the Surf side we rally the community to serve and give back. And I think it's the combination of those three things that uh, kind of make a community, and that's kind of the secret sauce of Silicon Slopes, which is no longer a secret. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> Go ahead and feel free to use.